for greedier for a streak of 47 we have four red hearts we have a light bulb by virtue of that of that bright bulb or whatever it's called vibrant bulb we also have insane starting stats let me drop that bulb and see what our stats are without it because that's still 4.43 damage tier rate's pretty average the speed is meh range is cool and nobody cares about the others i mean i mean honestly all things considered that's pretty good we get the matchbook which i'm not super hyped about i mean bombs are kind of meh bombs are kind of meh in greedier mode the flight is actually pretty sick because we can have things like this with blocked off chests that we now have access to which is immediately going to give us a key which is sweet these items kind of suck These items do- oh no, don't. Don't, 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 don't! My bulb! Okay. These items kind of suck, so we have a really strong starting build, so we might actually just use this floor to generate a bunch of- a bunch of money and use it on the next floor. Um, definitely gonna blow up that. None of these guys have... coins in their eyes. So I think we'll just go for it. I don't know why a bunch of stuff exploded just now, but... I'll take it. Little Hoshi or whatever he's called is really not that great either. But again, like the start itself is so strong that I'm actually feeling comfortable not getting anything on this floor and just taking all my resources to the next one. Plus, we're going to get a devil deal, right? The devil deal can always be pretty nifty. Almost into that guy. Like, look at that. It's so rare to have a starting build that can actually keep up with the waves on basement in greedier mode. I mean, I couldn't keep up with that wave because of the champion, but that's literally the only reason. Which is a bit annoying because once you start falling behind in greedier, that's kind of it most of the time. But we were already uh, a bunch of waves in, so it should be fine. I'd like to use that guy to blow up the pot. We blew up one pot and we got rewarded with a bunch of spooters. Oh, lordy. Probably time for a good old battle bomb soon. Get the champion, because that guy deals a full heart. No, I do not want to take a full heart. Hey, we're caught up again. Look at that. And of course, it's one more champion to end things off. But that's okay. Again, we're not popping Little Delirium because we have the Vibrant Bolt, which you can't see because my face is in the way. And the Vibrant Bolt gives you some massive stat-ups while you have a fully charged use item. So, and, and Little Delirium doesn't make up for the stuff the Vibrant Bolt gives us. This guy jumps onto me. I might actually just blow up these two pots. Oh, the quarter! The dream chat! The basement one quarter in greed mode. Oh god, it's another monstro. Hey everyone, this is your secret call out of the day. If you made it at this part of the video, let me know you're part of the RT game. This run was absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it, so make sure to watch it to the end. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subs currently, so if you enjoy the content, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and a sub on the video. Alrighty. So this is fine. Obviously, I don't have to fear anything from this monster anymore. So really think about that. We're still on our starting build, essentially. Right? Like, we got the matchbook, sure, but that doesn't really do anything for us. Really? Hey, remember to turn off... I remember the turn off Discord, but not Steam. But yeah, as I was saying, we're still on our starting build. We haven't taken a single point of damage yet. That is incredibly rare in greedier mode. To have a build that good. And we have that quarter. We're going to go onto the next floor with 50 cents. If not more. If anything comes out of these poops. Now, I could blow up Larry, but I don't want to. I'd rather save that one bomb I have for a potential reroll machine. 
Plus, in a big room like that, you really don't need to, to play it safe against Leary. You don't, really don't need to play it safe by planning a bomb. Okay. And we're definitely going to go in there with four red hearts and two soul hearts. And... We're just going to take Death's Touch. We, we could get this guy for the set. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason. I don't really care about Little Delirium. And... Oh, I mean, I don't care about that. I don't care about re-rolling these base stats. They're insane. <laughs> so we're just going to go. We're just going to go. Preferably without taking damage from these red fires. Okay. Starter build, no damage taken on basement. Really nice. Very, very glad with how this has been going. Flooded caves. Gives us... Meat. Alright, can't go in there. Let's see if there's a free key in here or if I'm going to have... I heard a key drop. See, the flight coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. You know my stance on this one. But I also know chat's stance on this one, so we're gonna buy a spider mod. This admiration is okay. We could put some money into the reroll machine, but frankly, I think it's enough to just blow it up right now. We're not under a lot of pressure to get more stuff. So I'd rather save my money. We're definitely gonna get plus one damage in a random rune. Soul of Magdalene. Sure. Alright. So this floor saw us find a spooder mod. Which is honestly not super impressive. But between Death's Touch and Mom's Ring, I think we're still in a pretty good position. I mean, the, the build does improve significantly from our starting build with Death's Touch and, and the health up. And the mom's ring. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. As scary as these last few greedy... Oops. As scary as these last few greedier runs have been. I think this one is actually going to be pretty tame. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Thunder Thighs has done some work in the past. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of them. All right, boss time. And frankly, I was hoping to get some use out of Distant Admiration against the boss on this stage, but I don't think this is happening against this guy. Because he doesn't really have a tell for when he fires tears at you. Okay, this guy though is a prime, prime target for Distant Admiration, to be quite frank. Now, you might be asking, who is Frank Prox? And I don't know. I really only know Pete. What? Finn? Easy peasy. Let's see what Satan has to say. Satan has to say... Yikes. Satan has to say, uh oh. Blah. Satan has to say, I'm gonna send you my helper and give you Krampus Head, which is about as useful as a little delirium. But at least it's only a three room charge, so I can be a bit more generous when it comes to using that. Okay, now that I'm not sitting on a half a red, uh, half a black heart anymore, I can also go in here. Don't want the puppy. And with that, You've got me addicted to Pokemon Unite. You're welcome. Not my favorite health up in the pool, but it's okay. That being said, with those hearts on the ground, I can, with no ragrets, go to the curse room. Don't care about these, we're just gonna bomb again. E100. 
That is really not that great in greedier mode, but you just know we're gonna find Curse of the Blind if I don't take that, right? That's just how it goes. Am I gonna do Iron Mon, Scarlet, Violet? Well, they need to be hacking the game first, and even then I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be doing it. Lusty Blood is nice. That was incredibly convenient. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. <laughs> it turns off the bulb. But it's it's a fan favorite. It's like I don't I don't like it personally, but it is a fan favorite. For this one's for the fans. Oh no. Man, my tier rate is garbage suddenly. Turns out the uh, light bulb actually carried this run pretty hard. Uh oh. I can just imagine the video game saying Happy New Year probs. You know? Our tier damage is pretty nutty for this stage of the game. Just gotta find some tier rate to spice it up. I'm gonna sit here while this guy's going ham. Randomizer is coming along nicely. I'm talking with the creator of it, and Iron Mon could be completely ready in one to two weeks. Really? That fast? I didn't realize that switch hacking was that far along already. Come on, Brimstone me, brother. Hey, okay, I get it. You don't want me to fly you. Oh, well, speaking of flying... This guy's actually a prime target for the red flame. Oops. Don't lose the bone heart. Don't lose the bony hearty. That was close. Uh, leaving the room and re-entering was pretty stupid. I turned off Lusty Blood that way, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather turn off my damage though here and then get the heart so I can keep the bone heart for potential devil deals. Wonder if buying school back. Well, I can still do that. That's actually a really good idea. Good job. This works, right? Okay, funnily enough, if I switch between them, I can turn the bulb on and off. Thanks for being smarter than me, chat. Oh, lordy. This is a surprisingly difficult wave for this stage of the of the game. There goes the bulb. Uh, the bulb. There goes the bone heart. Okay, one more. Alright, what do we get? We get a dead cat, just in case there were any doubts that I was going to win this run. 
We'll just take both of these. Dead cat is gonna make that pretty convenient. Fair warning though, I'm probably not gonna be fighting Ultra Greed twice in this in this run. Maybe I will, I don't know. What do we got? The Fool, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Hearts, the Stars, and the Strength question mark. Mead Cleaver. That's fun, but kind of whatever. Then we use the Fool, I guess, to get out of the first room. I mean, keys are nice. The fool. And then I guess we don't care about Soul of Magdalene. We're just going to take the Strength question mark with us because that's one of the best cards in the entire game. And then we get... A question card. Wait. Can I double R key with that? <laughs> Can I R key with that twice? Are we doing this? <laughs> Pretty sure you can. Oh dang it, it's the secret room next to the curse room? Uh, let's start building our health pool up again. We're gonna see a lot of devil deals in this run, considering we're gonna run through the entire game three times. <laughs> Easy with fights. Oh, there's another one? Actually, that makes sense. Oh, hi. You guys okay? Yeah. Really? I pick Dead Cat and immediately die? Is that how the order of operations is here? Oh, it's not, right? The worst thing about this is that your chance for Guppy is still pretty low. I would say it's pretty high and greedier, actually. Blow this thing up. I don't really need to stock up on soul hearts. I don't need these either. I don't really need to stock up on soul hearts. Considering we have... Oh, what the hell. No, the flies! Oh my god. Okay, I'm doing this. Good use of a Krampus head charge, if I may say so myself, on a run that doesn't really want to use Krampus head charges. Some situations require drastic measures, and that was one of those. Okay, is there a red heart sitting somewhere? Because the catch here is that... Nice. The catch here is that if I die on this next wave, I'm actually not going to get access to the devil deal. theme here. Dang it, I lost track of where they are. Oh, there's one. There's the other. And there's the third. 
All right. Uh, sure, let's take Hungry Soul just to complete the set. <laughs> Vengeful Spirit is kind of whatever. I don't really care about that. Hey, Geo. Welcome. Happy New Year to you as well. The secret room really is next to the curse room. Okay, fine. I'll go in there. No spirit transformation. I'm not sure what you're saying. What is that card again? Oh yeah, strength question mark. Well, we have to uh, keep the infinitely more fun question card. So, here we are. Sorry, I don't make the rules. All right, what do we got? We got euthanasia, incredible. We've got meat, that's okay. We've got a trap door to the next floor. <laughs> I don't need that. Is that a soul heart? No. Still haven't found a tears up yet. I did find a tears down in the form of death's touch. Um. Hmm. I mean, that's not really that great and greedier, right? Let's do... I'll pop that once. I'm a big fan of that potato peeler. And we're gonna blow that up again. We have so much time still. Oh, what the soap! Finally tier 8. Unfortunately, planetariums aren't a thing in Greedier, so... Oh my goodness. Oh! Vengeful Spirit is actually pretty nutty in Greedier. Pretty nutty. So is Red Stew, but Red Stew is also always pretty nutty, so... Not really saying a lot. You're a boss enemy. <laughs> All right, one wave down. This time, don't make the mistake of leaving the room to reset your your thing, your bloody loss. Does dying in a greedier room kick you out, or is it like the beast fight? It does kick you out. <laughs> Alright, easy peasy. And with that... With that, it is time for some good old dead catchies, if we can do it. Oh, I'm not making that. Okay, well, I'm just taking that. That's fine. Or the bloody gust. That, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, the War of Babylon wouldn't have been live anyway. No Judas' shadow. The problem is shadow goes off after the dead cat. So it's not going to do a whole lot for us anyway. Dookies. Mm. Irofond. I see another tears up. It would do after eight fail tries. We're not gonna have eight fail tries. Squeezy! Definitely want that. 
And now we're gonna get some fighting in. For as long as our reds do is still like this. Oops. Bit of rude there on the spawn lab. I love how the timer was already up before the second hand even fell from the from the ceiling. Like literally impossible to clear that wave before the timer is up. <laughs> Fantastic. Such game design. Cage. Have we got a chance to prop either cards with the head selector or use the R key itself instead of the card? Very small. Not impossible. There's two of these guys. And the first one's dead. I mean, I mean, these are just useless. Campion Conception is kind of nice. But like... Uh, we're gonna take Squeezy because I like the tier rate. And then we're gonna do this. And we still have the R key. <laughs> oh my god. Nice, nice. Ball of bandages. Fine. Bit late for Cambion Conception. We're not late. We're still in the first half of the run. I still have an R key. <laughs> We're not late at all. How did I retain the R key? I had a question card which uses your space use item for free. Well, at the use of the card. Not exactly free. Currently thinking about the editing nightmare that this YouTube video is going to be, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure something out. Frankly, probably just going to be showing the third run. Maw of the Void and Dark Prince's Crown, which unfortunately gets cancelled if I take Maw of the Void. I mean, let's be real, I don't really need either of these. But I'm going to take them both. And if I find a health up, I'm going to purchase that too. Well, I'm still on max on tier 8, so don't mind if I do. Then I'm going to take some move speed. We're pretty low on move speed. And now I'm Sag, I can't get the Synth Oil. Hold up. I have totally forgotten about this. Oh my god. When did bombs become so useful in Greedier? We're gonna go to the Cursed Room, there's gonna be an enemy. We're gonna defeat the enemy and the room drop is gonna be a bomb. Never mind. Oh, we gained half a heart. Oh, bomb? Bomb drop? Oh, I'm not taking pills. Despite this being a run of a certain amount of spice that I would never do under normal circumstances, I, I shall stay true to my principles. That's Dark Prince's crown live. That's just garbage. That's Dark Prince's crown offline, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to spend the heart. Maybe we get a devil deal after every floor. We can see Krampus again now. I can get that lump of coal now. I'm going to trade some keys for bombs. 
Eraser is kind of meh. We want to make the run more spicy, not less. And then I guess we're using this floor to stack up on some goodies again. Hello? Did you just wait for me to walk away and then pop up? That is so rude. Probably forgetting about that mall all the time. Not like I need it, but it's gonna deal pretty saucy damage. And with that, I will still not get. the cat piece. Okay, we're not taking less than three because this is gonna put me on Dark Princess Crown again with the White Heart. the whole reason I picked up one of the items and then realized I should have taken the other. Guys, I think we're gonna beat Ultra Greedier. Are you sure? I'm not 100% yet. Purity! With the damage aura. Glass eye for even more damage. If I go in there, I'm gonna lose my damage aura, but that's a price I'm willing to pay. Or more chances at kitties. Hey, that's a kitty. Two out of three, kitty. Kitty cat. And we now got the speed aura. Nice money. This is Cricket's body. Big fan. Emo. Also big fan. Samson's chains. Not such a big fan. Oh, brother. And so it begins. Hallelujah. Rip bitrate? Is it that bad? <laughs> um, sure, I'll take the book for two out of three bookworm. I don't really care about Sack Dagger at this point. We're gonna take that just for the bit of tier rate. And I'm gonna take PJs because they're so cozy. Stars card. Magician card. Oh no, there was a Tinder Rock. Whoops. There's still not a cat. Can three run-throughs through the game be enough to make a cat? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, good lord! Ah. 
I can't wait to see what this is gonna eventually do to Ultra Greedier. Good raid massacre. Yeah, I might have just taken turned on my local recording. So that the YouTube video can at least look clean. <laughs> Jesus. As for you live viewers, enjoy the rip raid. I can sacrifice some of my very useless followers. I mean, I hope we're not gonna lose the meat cube and the bandage ball from this, but let's go. Oh my god, we kept the meat cube and the bandage ball. And we get an incubus because our tier rate was definitely not enough yet. So now we fire twice the tiers. Does that still increase my tier rate? No, it doesn't. We're capped. Okay, good to know. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, is that better than the bulb? It's 0.05 tier rate and the rest really doesn't matter, so... I guess the bulb is better. I'm gonna buy that just because I'm a scaredy cat. And it puts the Dark Prince's crown online. Boneheart doesn't turn on the crown, only after it's filled because, um... Crown checks if you have exactly one red heart. Wooden spoony boon. Was there a free heart in the corner? If there was, I didn't see it. My bad. I don't really think I care about the present. Like, we still have an entire full run ahead of us. I really don't need that one extra item. I really thought that would potentially get the super boon thing too, which is unnecessary because I have to... I have extra vision. What in the world? Jesus! Wait, explosive Nemo tears can hit me? No. What just hit me? Soul of Keeper is nice. I don't even see what's going on anymore. <laughs> I, like, there's the empty bulb. Every time I get hit, I did ask, don't see what hits me. This is Bookworm. Car, car battery and R key shouldn't be doing anything, no. Oh, we don't need that. Soul Heart is nice. Suicide King. Soul of Eve. Welcome to the shop again. Chaos! Okay, that should actually make me guppy, to be honest. Like, Chaos has a way of making you guppy the void. <laughs> okay. Chaos has a way of making you guppy in greed mode. This is how the item works. Twisted pair. Okay. Oh my god. It just doesn't end. Okay, I think I'm going to use this floor to stock up on some soul hearts for the next run. Oh god. I once again did not see what hit me.
Okay, this time I saw what hit me. I just couldn't do anything about it because it was the RNG rock. Yep. So we're using R key to break the game. We sure do. Although to be fair, it's not difficult to use R key to break the game. And I rarely do this to be fair, you know, I uh, don't usually bright myself in those bonkers broken runs. It's not usually the kind of content I do. Um, but you know, the R key just willingly presented itself to me, so I figured I figured as part of 2021, I had a... That's just going to ruin the build. <laughs> I felt like as part of 2021, I had a moral obligation to give the masses what they want. Anyway, like I said, I don't really care about fighting greed more than once. So, let's go. Backstabber. Sweet. Keeper's Kin. I mean, that's okay. It does a 2021. That's okay. It, it's it's still 2021 somewhere. Lost soul. Oh yeah, I sure can keep that alive in this run. Two spades. How funny would it have been if we gotten another another card? Capricorn. That's gonna increase our tier rate. Is tractor beam? I feel like tractor beam is gonna make the build a lot stronger, but also a lot less flashy. So I'm going to let Twitch chat decide, should I take Tractor Beam or not? Because pulling all these tiers together is insane, right? But it's also a lot less fancy. Like, we're not going to get this anymore. Hard pass. No, nope. No. Skip. No. Not this time. I see one do it and then a bunch of nopes, so... Sorry, lads. <laughs> the masses have spoken. <laughs> Do we finally make a cat now? No, oh no, wait, we have chaos now. I mean, there's a good chance we're gonna make a cat, but it's probably this. This is just boring. There's a good chance we're gonna make a cat, probably just not off of a devil deal. Actually, we're gonna do that. Don't care about the urn. There's my guppy. Okay, the question is, do we take the skipping stone? That seems fun. Question is, do we even find the money to get the skipping stone? I think the answer is no. After two loops, yeah, all it takes is doing three runs in a row to get enough guppy pieces. Oh, I don't need that. We do have room for a new second active item, but like, what active item does this build really want or need? I have guppy's eye now. Oh, can you see the coins inside these guys with guppy's eye? Fair enough. I was so intent on finding that flat stone that I... Or finding the money for that flat stone. Oh well. And for my next streak, I'm gonna get more damage and... I'm not sure. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Minus 0 0.05 tier rate. Plus 1.5 damage. Orphan socks. I mean, that's kind of boring also boring. Mysterious Liquid is gonna make the run a lot more fun, I feel. Yeah, because the tiers look more fancy. Oh lord, the game's lagging. <laughs> oh my lord! Okay, so we're pretty much taking Sacred Orb, right? And try to find something fancy off of it. 
And for my next trick, I'm I'm not taking Damoclus. Look, I feel like the run's been going on for long enough, so I'm not taking the D20. I, I have my limits, chat, you see. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, to be fair, we did just pick up Sacred Orb. What would be the most fun we could go for here? Oh, R key again. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> As long as I keep finding R keys, I will keep using R keys. Or the fans. I could also take Ipercac and just, like, lose. <laughs> That's also an option, by the way. Um, if anyone sees an R key, let me know. A lot of visual noise on this floor. You tend to miss things. Nobody said anything yet, so I'm assuming it wasn't there yet. It's gonna be in that top right room that I skipped, is it? <laughs> Jesus. Dogma. Oh no, wait, that's redemption. Ah, uh, there it is. Wait, where's? Oh, there it is. You're right, right, right. Thanks, chat. All right, I now have my third R key <laughs> for the run. <laughs> That's so stupid. Things I never thought I'd ever say. Really hope the game is not going to crash from this eventually. In before Streak dies because I... Is that going to make the build more fun? I honestly don't think it is. Like, it's going to lower my tier rate. What do you think, chat? Like, it's gonna my lower my tier rate even more. The damage doesn't matter because everything dies in one hit anyway. <laughs> I'll take these for white tiers. That seems more fun. Uh-oh. Is that a mistake? Uh, no, it wasn't. Do it. I think conjoint made this a bit less spicy. Oh, Spectral, is that what the problem is? I mean, everything's dead anyway, so I guess it can't be that bad. Scorpio is going to give my tears a beautiful shade of green. Which they already have, so I guess that didn't matter. A plus drop. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to lose that again, right? There's just certain instances where I can't avoid damage because I literally don't see what's going on. Little monstro, demon, bebe. Bunch of keys. That's gotta be fun, right? Hey, that fixes, that fixes the spectral issue. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have bombs left. Yeah. 
Oh no! Oh god, I have no idea what just hit me. I took half hour to damage chat. The run is over. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Do I even need to fire? Oh, they're over. Oh yeah. Crunchy visuals. If you want to see this run with a clean video recording, I recommend watching it on YouTube on Friday. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's just going to be boring, right? I don't think a bird's eye. I don't think that's going to change much, to be honest, but... We'll take this, just so some random explosions can't kill us. Why not? Brimstone synergizes with Hemo. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's not going to be as fun. Let's get that out of the pool. Ah, sure, let's take 99 bombs. Sausage! Oh no, I can't take the sausage chat! Rip. Okay, well, let's go. Don't really care about the mom's box. You think Brim would have been more fun? I don't know. Lead pencil is gonna be fun. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to tell when it pops, but... <laughs> Tier rate doesn't really matter. We've already established this. Although I did get minus tier rate in between. I'm not sure if we've already made up for that. Oh my god, look at that flame, if you can tell. I'm not sure what this looks like on your end at this point, but that flame was massive. Soy milk. I don't actually think we can find that because we have sacred orb. Lucky foot. Or that's gonna help. I'm gonna take that again to get the dark princess crown. And I guess we can take tech point five. Magic skin. It's not even that bad on source. Well, I am streaming at a 5k bitrate, so. Skeleton key. The starters. A bed. That's exactly what we needed. I wonder if we're finally going to get to fight... Wow, of course the RNG rocks hit me. I mean, it's not like I had any chance. <laughs> Let's be real. For my next year, we still don't have Sacred Heart. We still don't have Sacred Heart. A second love of coal doesn't do anything, as we recently learned. And I won't lie, I kind of want to buy some cards in hope of getting another um, question card, but that's just garbage. Well, we have Lucky Foot now, so I guess those don't hurt, but who cares? All right, run number four. <laughs> Eternal D6. Holy man, alright, that's what we were missing still. I see. Oh, Spore Shot. Yes! And now we're Fun Guy. All right, this is probably now the last run through though. I don't know what we could find at this point again. 
that would actually keep this run going. I did not realize there was a ghost chest, but I had holy mantle, so I guess it doesn't matter. We can, we still haven't found Eden's blessing. I don't think we're spun yet. I don't, yeah, we haven't found Eden's blessing yet to spice up the next run. Nice, a golden key right at the end of the floor, my favorite. I feel like that's gonna be boring. Is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, okay, no, it's more fun. I take it back. Hey, look, there's spun if we get that. 25%, by the way. Hell yeah. If you can't see what's going on, don't worry, neither can I. Compound fracture for more shattering tears. Okay, it's actually pretty dope that Guppy's eye lets you see what's inside the holy chests. That's pretty dope, not gonna lie. There's another question card. Unfortunately, we're out of our keys. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on the off chance that we're finding another R key. You never know. I don't think I want kidney stone. We still don't have Sacred Heart. <laughs> or Godhead. <laughs> like. Forget me now. <laughs> well, that would be one more floor at least. <laughs> I don't think I want Dr. Fetus. Deepler. Eve's Mascara. I don't want to lower my tier rate further. I'm really just looking for... Okay, okay. Not Sacred Heart, but we didn't have that multiplier yet. Plus 11.79 damage. Okay, that's just going to ruin it, right? Inner Child. Epic Fetus. Ah, I don't even care about the troll bombs because I have bomb immunity. Another A+. Plus. Okay, now I gotta find the Sacred Heart, right? <laughs> Does that already affect these? No. Okay. That was entirely necessary. Okay, I see Holy Light, but I also see Parasite. So I guess we're taking Parasite. <laughs> Esau Jr. Yeah, I don't think so. I want the Electric Tears. Crown of Light. Under garbage. Save the game for safety. Oh, 
that's not the one I wanted. Dang it, I wanted the prism. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, that's actually a good point, though. Let's save the game real quick. Fine. I'm sorry, Chad. I have forsaken you. I messed up the prism. Okay, there's unfortunately a turret there, and I need to wait for all my tears to peter out to be able to kill that guy. So, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> There we go. The mind. Chocolate milk? Oh, hell yeah. No, oh, no, I missed it again. God damn it. Drink it, don't care. Dude, okay, I'm off my game, chat. I am off my game. At least we haven't missed Sacred Heart yet, or Godhead. Right? We also haven't seen it yet somehow. 2020 or Jacob's Ladder? 2020, right? Jacob's Ladder. Chad, I'm gonna let you pick while I look at the next one. Monstrous Lung. Loose shot. I'm actually off my game. Ladder, 2020, ladder, ladder, 2020. I see three ladders, three 2020s, five ladders, six ladders, four 2020s. Okay, ladder it is. Or not. I, I really can't seem to pick the things I want anymore. Hippocat, Cricket's Head doesn't do anything really because we already have a multiplier. Proptosis. I think it's a bit late for rock bottom. <laughs> like, what is it? What is it actually going to do at this point? We have sacred orbs, so we're not going to be finding soy milk. <laughs> so, I'll try and get prop. Nope. Nope. Can't do it anymore. Don't really care about the angel brimstone. We're, we're already reaching breakfast territory. How have we not seen Sacred Heart or Godhead yet? Nice lag. I don't think I'm going to go for that. I don't want to get Tech X and ruin the build and the others don't really do anything. Okay, well, maybe one of these days we're still going to find... We're still going to find Godhead and or Sacred Heart. They're going to be in the same stack now. I just know. Athame is kind of boring. Booger Tears. Is that Star of Bethlehem? There we go. Guess we can just get Book of Revelations out of the pool. Oh, 
Nice. Hey, there's soy milk. Wait. Wait, how is soy milk in there? Huh? Chaos overrides, maybe? I, maybe, I don't know. I didn't want soy milk, though. Oh my god. The game actually just stuttered. When I fired that. Oh, lordy. And now the walking turret. Okay, there we go. Why was soy milk in there? Maybe because we've gone through the entire pool? I don't know. Man, if I took... Oh, imagine if I had taken rock bottom. I legitimately didn't think we could find soy milk. That's why I didn't take rock bottom. I guess that's a lesson to me. Always take rock bottom. Wafer, but <laughs> like it, it really doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't matter. Trisagion. Okay, I'm not taking Trisagion because I I'm afraid the game might actually crash if I take that. <laughs> Same for sad bombs. Rubber cement is kind of cute, but I think I want the stairway. Oh, well, I guess we're taking a rubber summon. I'm not taking Genesis. I mean, rubber summon is also cute. Is it just me or does Genesis feel like it offers a legitimate chance to lose this run? <laughs> it probably doesn't with the sheer amount of items. On a scale of 1 to 10, how dead is Ultra Greedier? Uh, about... About a 69. anything left still i mean we still haven't seen sacred heart and godhead like what is this huh am i am i crazy we haven't seen sacred heart or godhead have we i'm not just imagining did anyone see sacred heart or godhead outside of the death certificate of course I mean, there's clearly still items there. Oh. Okay. It really is like a ball pit now. Whoever said that, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Guardian Angel is still there. Um, are you guys okay? Hello? <laughs> what is happening? Help! Help! <laughs> oh, 
No, I was trying for the Guardian Angel. It's kind of difficult. Like, yeah, I find it even more difficult when it's not six rotating items, but, like, it shows breakfast half the time. I find it a lot harder to gauge, like, when the thing is going to show up. Coal? We already have two coals. All right. Let's see how fast Ultra Greedier dies from this. Ready, chat? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm not ready. Let's let's give him a bit of hope. Let's wait for the star of Bethlehem to make it to the center of the stage. For its grand entrance. Okay. Three, two, one. Booyah! <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah, he can live for a bit longer. Okay, now it's time is up. Goodbye.